today is a day that I'm going to be crafting with items that I already have at home. I purchased this little house at Dollar Tree when it was still a dollar back in the summer. And this chalk paint, I think I got this at Walmart, but I am not too crazy about it. It's just not happening. But I still used it and I gave it three coats. Now I have these stencils and I'm gonna be using the owl. I think it's beautiful. I'm gonna be putting it down here. It's self-adhesive. You could find this at Dollar Tree. And then I'm just gonna come in with this gray or satin color. Martha makes this, Martha Stewart's, and I found this at Dollar Tree. I was very surprised. So all I'm gonna go ahead and do is just dab it the way you see here. Once that is uh, completely um, covered, then all you do is just remove the stencil. And this is the way it looks. Nice, I am loving it. Now I also have other stickers that I also, of course, all these materials items that I'm using today, mostly are from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna take this welcome sign and I'm going to transfer it above the owl, just like you see. So now I'm gonna go ahead and continue to use some more of these stickers. And later on, once all these stickers are put in place, I'm also gonna come in with some chew twine and you see what I'm going to do. It's gonna turn out beautiful. Look at how beautiful this turned out. Don't go away, I have more DIYs and I will show you this in a second. Now this, I really didn't know how it was gonna turn out. I just started putting things together, but I have these two cardboards and I have tumbling blocks also from the Dollar Tree. The cardboards I had from some shelves that were destroyed from my office. So I decided to take them. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put several tumbling blocks in the middle only because when I put both of these boards together, I don't want the middle sinking in. I'm gonna go ahead and put the same tumbling blocks around the edge. So now that this is all put in place, these two corners I had to go outside and cut the tumbling blocks to size. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue on all four corners. And then once that is done, then I will put this cardboard on top, just like you see. And now I'm going to work on the legs. I'm putting two on each corner, a total of eight tumbling blocks. And now I'm going to make the handles. As you can see, this is a trade. I'm putting these two together, and then I'm taking two more, and I'm going to glue them the same way because of course I'm making both handles together. So now let's go ahead and work on the corners. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to put two just like this. I'm gonna glue them in 
And once that that is glued in, the two that are glued already together are gonna go on top of these two that are glued on the board. I hope this makes sense. Just keep watching, it'll all make sense. And this is how it all turned out. Look at how beautiful. And it's pretty solid as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it outside and I'm going to spray paint it with this black paint from Rustolian. And now that it's completely dry, I'm coming in with some jute twine and I'm going to wrap both of the handles. And this is the way it turned out, but don't go away. I will show you the final reveal at the end of the video. Back in the summer, I went out garage selling and they gave me a whole bunch of picture frames and this is one of them, so I'm recycling it. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove everything from the back and with the same paper that is already there, that's where I will be sticking these stickers. This DIY was nice, fast, and simple. Again, don't go away. I will show you the final reveal at the end of the video. I love this sign. I purchased this flower vase at Dollar Tree. It was a failure. I tried doing a DIY, but no, it didn't happen. So now I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna spray paint it with white. And then later on, the upper half, I will be painting it with this black spray paint from Rustolian. And this is the way it turned out. As you see, I sprayed it with the black one on top and this is how it came out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take some jute twine and wrap it around right here on the neck of this floral vase. And this is how it looks. So now show you the final review of all these DIYs. If you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. That does help my channel. And thank you once again for clicking into my channel.